Lagertha, a most legendary warrior of the Viking Age. She, like this old traveler, goes by other names. In some tales, she's thought to be Thorgard, a goddess of defense and whose name means Thor's protection. But that is not the woman we shall speak of this day. No, today the tomes take us to the lands of ancient Scandinavia. It is a time of hardship and frost, of strife and cold, of dragons and oars, and of axe and shield. Today, spectators of myth, we visit the Viking Age. Life of Lagertha, Part 1 When legend speaks of Lagertha, she begins not as the wife of Ragnar and his sons, but in servitude to royalty. Lagertha served in the house of the Norwegian King Seward, but that house was soon to fall. Fro, the Swedish king, had laid waste to much of Norway and slaughtered Seward. To disgrace the fallen king further, Fro ordered that the Gertha, along with other servants, be put to work in a brothel. The Swede had won the battle, but had also sparked a fire he could not hope to douse. Seward was the grandfather to another Viking legend, a man whose very name sent the bravest of men into a cold sweat and the weakest praying to their ancestors. That man was Ragnar Lothbrok. When Ragnar learned of Fro's actions, he vowed revenge. He traveled with an army to face the Swedes, but when the battle began, Ragnar and his men were surprised. As it turned out, those that they had come to rescue were also quite the fighters themselves. The story goes that Lagertha and the other captors of Fro had draped themselves in armor and joined the fray against the Swedes. Lagertha was in the thick of it. She fought with a ferocity that outshone all the warriors among Ragnar's forces. With her golden locks swinging, she slaughtered many men and through the blood, sweat, and tears of battle, she caught the eye of Ragnar. He fell for her as quickly as those who fell by her blade. Ragnar was in love. The Viking legend was smitten with the warrior woman, whose skill matched his own. But his interest alone would not win her hand. Ragnar would have to prove that he was worthy of Lagertha's love. So he traveled to a home in the Gaula Valley. There, Ragnar would find Lagertha and tell her of his love for her. But Lagertha was not there. What was there was a giant angry hound and massive hulking bear. And both had eyes on Ragnar. 